<laughs> what? You gotta be joshing me with this one. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most bustling show on the internet. My name is Riley Zoe, and my hustling co-host Dignan. Money, please. Gosh, now something is real hard. This is Guess the Song from the Reversed Audio. Here's how this one's gonna work. We're gonna hear a half-second clip of a song that has been reversed. Then we're gonna try to guess what song that is. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Dignan versus you. Brayden from Kansas. I'll be braiding your hair after this one. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also got a collection over on Cope's website, which is linked in description. And we have a second channel now. It's called Hive Mind Unlimited. It's linked in description. Please subscribe to it. And also consider joining our Patreon, $5 a month, best way you can support us. And we got our cameo linked in description as usual if you want a special message from us. I'm about to show them how I do it. <laughs> First time we did this game, it was with Quadeca, and they were one second clips, so we've cut that in half. It was too easy. DJ Grant hit us with the first clip. I think I know who it is. Oh, I do. Yeah, I just don't know what song it is. My brain doesn't do a good job at flipping things over. You know what I mean? Some people have that brain where you can like look at a shape and flip it over. Yeah, but that's like spatial orientation. I don't think that has anything to do with sound. <laughs> I encountered an extraterrestrial one time. Really? At a Pier 1 Imports. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people think I'm lying when I tell this story, too. Okay, and let's hear it. I was shopping at a Pier 1 Imports, like I said. Yeah. In Sylvania. Sylvania, Ohio. Ohio really? Yeah, I was in Sylvania, Ohio. Okay. I was the ripe young age of 14. Okay. I was looking for a Mother's Day gift for my mom. Naturally. Yeah. And I knocked over a piece of, uh, it was a ceramic. <laughs> It was a <laughs> fragile piece of ceramic, yeah, and it broke. And the person who came to assist me was actually an extraterrestrial. And you might be asking how I knew that. I was going to say that, yes. <laughs> That's what everyone asks. And here's the part where they stop believing me. Out of their Pure One Imports dress that they have to wear, everyone there wears a dress. I don't know if you're familiar with that. I've never been inside a Pure One Imports. Slipped out of their dress pocket, what would you guess? A wire a, or something? A ray gun. A ray gun. Right. <laughs> really? Right. And I said, that's definitely not an earthly weapon. And it went, Google beep, beep, beep. And then it went up to space and vanished. <laughs> Let me be the first to say, and mm -hmm. I think this is going to surprise you. Yeah. I don't believe you at all. I know. <laughs> I know. <sighs> I saw an alien. Three, two, one. Element? N95. This is Father Time by Kendrick Lamar. Oh, it's Father Time. I knew it was Kendrick, but I thought it was the part with make it look sexy. Yeah, it kind of sounded like that. Generation of home invasions, and I got daddy issues, that's on me. Everything the four was that talk. It's a great song. Now, I don't know Kendrick Lamar personally, but I, I do like his music. You don't have to. I don't think people like were under the impression that you knew him personally. I'm just letting him know. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to, if I say something about him, it's not based on a interview interpersonal relationship. Yeah, it's just based on the art that you're consuming. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up. All right, let's get on to the next one. <laughs> Sounds like a sheep or something. <laughs> oh, did you hear Dave Matthews posted nudes on social media? <laughs> really? Yeah. Dave Matthews banned off Instagram. Three, two, one. Black skinhead? I put Go by the Kid Leroy. This is On Sight by Kanye <sighs> West. Uh, I thought I heard some Yeezus Kanye, like some hint. Yeah, I can kind of hear it now, but I was so lost. Like pre-Map Quest lost. I'm pretty sure the entire series of Lost came out before Map Quest was out. Wow. I don't think they could have made that show had Map Quest existed, because they could have just Map Quested off the <laughs> island. Yeah, and then you print it out and you follow the direction. Yeah, it's, it's easy. Pretty, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, it's too easy. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without Map Quest. I don't know what I'd do without you. Really? Oh wait. No, sorry, never mind. I would just have Graydon do all of the videos instead. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. I for a sec it just like it took me a second, but I got to what I would do with it without you. Well I'd try out for the NFL. Thanks for asking. Yeah. As a ref. Okay, all right. Yeah. Or a coach. I was going to say, your build is just not really NFL. Or you're... a hot dog man in hot, the stands. Hot dog man would be cool. Hot dog, hot dog. That's pretty good. Five bucks. See, that's the wrong price. They're eight bucks. Three bucks. They're eight bucks. My hot dogs are free. Come get them. <laughs> oh, you can eat dogs. I brought them in a, in a cellophane suit that I wore under the suit that I'm wearing. Feels a little bit Nathan Fielder inspired, but hey, you know, chili at a hockey game, hot dogs at a Miami Dolphins game, I assume. Why do you assume Dolphins? Because you are you think that you're close friends with Dan Marino. I have been hanging out with him a lot lately, yeah, and, uh, I, uh -uh. and I can only hope that he would consider me a close friend because he has gotten quite close 
to my heart. His whole family, really. I know. Yeah, the Marinos. Yeah. The, yeah, the Marinos. <laughs> they live in Jupiter, Florida, or they have one of their homes there. Yeah. And that's where they've been spending a lot of time. He invited me to go golf. I'm going to golf with him and his wife. Tripsy. Tripsy Marino. They fell in love in college before the NFL money. That's how you know it's real. Okay. He's still got it a little bit too. I was running slants for him the other day. <laughs> How'd that go? I didn't drop a ball despite his velocity, bruising and breaking several of my fingers. How does it how do they look now? <laughs> yeah, he's still got it. Pop them both down. Don't judge him, Joe Brown. One last announcement, no sports. Never understood that line. No sports bra, let's keep them bouncing. What's bouncing? The titties, they needed some counseling. Grant, drop that third clip. <laughs> I think that one might have broken the seal for us. You know what's fucked up? Hmm. People love hot dogs, but when I leave my dog in the car on a 95 degree day, all of a sudden everybody hates hot dogs. <laughs> what's that about? You gotta grind them up and then put them in an intestine. Roll them around on a grill. Slather them in relish, mustard, ketchup, onions, chili, cheese, Skittles. Skittles, man. What? And then people will like it. Why would you have Skittles on a hot dog, man? It's a savory sweet combination that is an unexpected pairing that surprises and scares off lots of barbecue guests. But the ones who stick around through that fear are rewarded with a treat so good it makes you feel like you're in heaven with God himself, sharing a bath. If I only could <laughs> take a bath with God, I'd give him a Skittle hot dog. He's definitely already had one, but yeah, it's nice of you. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. I put 21 questions in the club, 50 cent. It is P-I-M-P by 50 cent. <laughs> We both got the wrong 50 song. I thought P-I-M-P -P was a lyric in In The Club. No. No. Oh, you're so fucking smart. Huh? I'm not. I'm, Jeez. Not, I'm not saying I'm smart. But I had P-I-M-P -P written too, and I erased it. You can see it. God damn it, dude. We had, that was our chance. That was like our one chance. Fuck, man. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really, ooh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what you heard about me. I'm such a huge 50 fan too, it sucks. And now I know I said I was, Kendrick, I was a fan of Kendrick Lamar despite not knowing him personally. Here we go. That is the case again here. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I, do not, I do not know Mr. Jackson personally, but mm. I have always and will remain a fan despite getting that one wrong. Are your eyes okay? <laughs> no, they're, they're, they're like they're, fluttering. It's like they're cinched closed. I'm currently training myself to do waking REM. Oh, daydreaming. Correct. I'm dreaming right now. And what's the dream? It's chaos. Who is that? Soundgarden? Soundgarden. What would you even grow in a Soundgarden? <laughs> Brandon Flowers? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> the lead singer of The Killers. Yeah. An Oliver Tree? <laughs> Brad Parsley? <laughs> <laughs> it's Paisley. Looks blue to me. <laughs> Basically, it's not a color. It's I just know a it's pattern. a pattern. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, a pattern. pattern. It doesn't look like there's a pattern what? on your sweatshirt. <laughs> what would happen if society went total anarchy? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Runner, Alex G. That's what I put. It is Runner by Alex G. Wow, the most difficult one. Somehow we both got right. <laughs> yeah. Why was that one so difficult for you? It was just a wall of sound, but I thought that the guitar tone sounded like it and it's something that Grant would pick. And if you're out there and you watch our channel and you don't know that song, you should listen to it because it is maybe the best song of the year. And if you're out there and you recorded and sang and wrote that song, you're fucking sweet, Alex. G. <laughs> Wow, you picked the scream part too. Yeah. Love it. I've had some good times already to that song. Drinking yeah. beers, yep. kicking back, fishing for bluegill. Excuse me? <laughs> Call me a white rapper the way I sip a little Miller and get to Mackin. While you're sleeping, I'm gonna fill your mouth with Q-tips. The way you played pool last weekend, I think you need a little, a few Q-tips. We didn't play pool last weekend. I was at Dan Marino's house in Jupiter, Florida. 
<laughs> his daughter Kelsey was home from college. She actually told me a lot about Brown University, where she's going. And no, it's not because the Marino family legacy. She's very bright. Yeah, and Brown is across the street from RISD in Rhode Island. A long way from Jupiter, Florida. You can understand how happy she was to be home with her loving and supporting parents. Yeah. yeah. And how lucky I was to be at that table Yeah, no. with the family reunited after a while. Mrs. Marino is actually having a bit of empty nester syndrome. She's struggling to find hobbies or things to fill her time. She feels the void of her kids going away and growing up and Dan only knows football <laughs> he's a very bad husband but a good friend nice nice guy three two one put banana by the minions hard knock life by Jay-Z this is rich minion by ye I had that written I oh because it's a sample at the beginning but then I was like it's probably the banana part the one their other big song they got another big song oh the banana song I don't even know what it sounds like but I know about it Damn. So that's what the minions sound like. Do la papaya. Hmm? I don't know. I'm trying to speak their language. I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard language to learn. I've been on Rosetta Stone for like three weeks. In case I go to, where's their country? Mexico? South. Oh, South Mexico. What the fuck? You know what I've been noticing recently? Everybody's just too open on the internet these days. I miss like 2016. Mm -hmm. I just prefer drama trumping to trauma dumping, you know? My mother never kissed me. <laughs> we weren't close. There wasn't a physical relationship there. She was an authoritarian around the house. Pick up this, clean that, make your bed. I love you, mommy. I never had the chance to say it. <laughs> Even on her deathbed, I couldn't work up the courage. I couldn't, I was too scared. And I've talked to everyone else in my life and I'm very close with them. I am, I'm a lover. I, people say that about me. Not my mom, she's a cold woman, icy, I, ooh, ah, so cold it would burn you. A dry ice, her personality. Was always very insecure about my weight, okay? <laughs> Never tried out for the cheerleading squad, I couldn't. Couldn't try out? I was afraid I wouldn't fit the uniform. Mm -hmm. We sound alike. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. My name is Donald Trump. <laughs> so is mine. Spelled T-R-U-M-P. I have to tell you that my dad used to hit me. I'm still not over my first three wives. I loved them very much, but I had to go younger. <laughs> I had to. That's what he'd say. Yeah, that's what he would say if he could trauma dump. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. As it was, Harry Styles. Music for a f f sushi restaurant, Harry Styles. This is Bad Habit by Steve Lacey. Really? Bite my tongue, that's wow. a fat rabbit. I just heard pop song and went, Harry Styles is what would get picked. He is a honk. Harry or Steve? Both. <laughs> Put them together. It's a honk sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what if Donald Trump released his summer playlist and it was just fucking gas? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like Barack just did his and it's like, it's got some based picks uh -huh. on there, some cool songs, but it seems a little like too curated to be perfect amount of cool. Mm -hmm. If Donald Trump's was just like, hate being sober. Percocet and stripper joint. <laughs> One of these things first by Nick Drake, like a beautiful song from the 70s. Boys are back in town, Thin Lizzy. Oh my gosh, yeah. Shit Pants by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Is that his real song? No, caught me in a lie. It's not a real song. I was trying to be funny and I... I'm grasping for straws here. Nowadays, the turtles are mutant, but rarely do they even become teenage because of the straws in the ocean. We don't, they don't live to their teenage years because their eyes get poked out by our straws from our McDonald's cups. Not my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's giving straws in their eyes. Good job, Steve. I'm happy for all of his success. Look at it, I kind of did like an avant-garde Johnny Bravo. <laughs> yeah, it's like Picasso, Johnny Bravo. Bravo, Mr. Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> you should hold that up. I want to show the people your Bravo Picasso. <laughs> I'm horny, baby. What did Johnny Bravo used to say? I don't know, he used to hit on people He was a, a sexual predator, yes, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Let's hear the next one, Grant. All been great picks so far. <laughs> Let's hear it again, Grant. Really solid pick, though. <laughs> 
I made a marble sculpture of my own penis. Sent it to my grandma on accident. <laughs> Got the addresses fucked up in my address book. Who is this supposed to go to? My other grandma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the dad's side, on my dad's side. Yeah, dad's side grandma would appreciate a marble sculpture of your, of your penis. Her garden's full of marble penises. Really? Yeah, I sent it to the wrong grandma. She was pissed off and disgusted. <laughs> Wrote me out of the will faster than you could say, Mississippi hickory stick. <laughs> <laughs> Which is ironically yeah, yeah. a fun dip candy bag emptied out of the sugar and filled with cocaine. She would give those to the kids when they had toothaches <laughs> and help them out. A Mississippi hickory stick is, correct me if I'm wrong, a fun dip where you empty out the sugar and fill it back up with coke. <laughs> that's okay. That sounds awesome. And I want to do that sometime with you if that's okay. That's fine. Okay. Three, two, one. I put Better, Faster, Stronger by Daft Punk. I put Dirty Work by Steely Dan. And this is Seinfeld theme song. This is the Seinfeld theme song reversed, and I thought it was Daft Punk. I'm a fool to do your dirty work, Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> Best theme song of all time. Me and Graydon gave it an S tier on our TV show theme songs tier list. Can I take your hat off with my teeth? Sure. Is this another hat? Carpe diem, brother. Something dancey, something sultry and smooth, something intoxicating, something seductive. <laughs> Keep going. The type of song you wish you could drink. Take an MP3, make it liquid. Pour it down your gullet. Feel it in your bloodstream. Dancing to it just isn't enough. You want to fuck it. Holy shit. Something like that. What? I want to fuck the song. Is that so bad? Yeah. Three, two, one. Massive. That's what I put. It's one dance by Drake. <laughs> one dance is all it takes. Falling in, in love, love with Drake. Drake. In this club trying to pretend I don't know who Dua Lipa is, when I definitely do. <laughs> Not personally. I know, yeah. I don't know her yeah, personally. I figured. I'm <laughs> very familiar with her music, though. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what happened. Do you have any paper towels around here? <laughs> Screenshot this for a chance to win. One more time for I go. I I'm a power taking control of, of me. me. Controller. Controller. <laughs> if I was a DJ, I'd mix those right at that moment. Yep, me too. <laughs> me too. All right, uh, let's get into the next one. It all sounds like bullshit. Yeah, it all sounds shitty. It sounds like dumb bullshit. If music was reversed, I feel like music wouldn't be so good. You'd have to like walk backwards in the club or something for it to make sense. Yeah, <laughs> or like stand on your head and count sheep. Ugh, I hate sheep. They stink like shit. <laughs> I don't even want to guess for this one. First time in Hive Mind history, I choose not to guess. <laughs> I'm choosing not to guess. I'm setting boundaries. Oh, you think like... I'm good. Okay. I don't want to guess. You think Grant's like manipulative in some way? So you're trying to like set a boundary to try to create a healthier relationship between you and the guy behind the camera? I don't need to guess every time. All right, well, let's just... I'll just guess. Is that how you want to do it? Three, two, one. But take a chance, Dami and JD Beck. Nothing. It is... <laughs> Chance by Tommy and Jenny That's what I would have guessed. <laughs> Woo! I think this is my number one right now. Favorite song of 2022. Ugh. I need you to take a chance on me. I hate jazz fusion. Really? Yeah. Graydon loves it. This motherfucker don't though. What do you like? Garage stuff. Garage. <laughs> yeah. Garage stuff. Power tools. Sigs. All right, let's get on to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta be joshing me with this one. Yeah. You know why they call me former vice president Dick Cheney? They don't call you that. Cause I'm a dick. I'm not nice, especially to the people I go out with. That being said, give me a chance. I think you're attractive. How's that for a pickup line? That didn't even feel like a pickup line. It seemed brutally honest, which I guess is good, but then <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. Get ready, sugar plum fairy. Like the economy, I'm about to go down on myself in front of you to show off my flexibility, not only physically, but my time, my schedule, due to my work, I'm, I'm pretty flexible and like... I can kind of work my way into your schedule. Yeah, I mean, I've never heard a pickup line like that before. Do I look like ravioli to you? Because I'm full of stuff that you can have. 
Three, two, one. Put Clubhouse by Jaleel. Put Hot Shit by Cardi B. This is Betty Get Money by Young Gravy. Oh, it's that huge song on, on TikTok. Young Gravy's newfound superstardom is somewhat of a mystery to me. I understood him as a niche meme rapper guy personality. I kind of enjoy his personality to an extent, but the music being as big as it is, I would not have bet my money on. Four words for you. Beard, feathered hair, tall, white, Westminster dog show. <laughs> Even on the first four, feathered <laughs> yeah. hair counts as two. That's five words, but it's compound. Then word. West, no, it's, it's not <laughs> Westminster Dog Show has nothing to do with it. It was almost a red herring in a certain way. <laughs> That's where he wrote the song. You know what? We could have rounded it all up to one word: privilege. That damn young gravy. I'm afraid if we talk about him anymore, he's gonna end up fucking our moms. Don't put that part in. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Wait a minute, you know this one? Damn right I do, you fucking smart ass. It sounds like a song that I should know, and I didn't get it. <laughs> Can I give myself a hickey on my arm? If you want to. <laughs> did it work? I just started bleeding out of my gums. You did? Mm -hmm. Wow. Riveting show we've got here. <laughs> this is why we're the best YouTube channel, right here. Oh yeah, there's blood in that for sure. Three, two, one. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Charlie XCX. Put Bloody Mary by Lil Shorty Scott and Ken Carson. It is Bloody Mary by Lil Shorty Scott and Ken Carson. Oh, uh, how did I not get that? Pretty cool that I started bleeding during that. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow, wow. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Pretty cool that I brought this Clamato juice and Tito's too. <laughs> Bloody Mary's on me, boys. <laughs> Everyone in the chat right now that comments 4,467 gets a free Bloody Mary shipped to their house, courtesy of Tito's Vodka. <laughs> I didn't know you were I love that song, produced by Fish. Shorty Scott had sent that to me ahead of time and I was listening to it a bunch, and then when he told me he got Ken Carson on it, I was like, no way. I remember that, you freaked the fuck out. Yeah, I was like, literally, I started screeching and I <sighs> circles. It was one of my classic freakouts. I know it. <laughs> you literally act like a stuffed moose sometimes. I act like a stuffed moose, and how does one act like a stuffed moose? I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Hit me baby one more time, Britney Spears. Dancing Queen, ABBA. It is Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. Yes, I knew I had it. Makes me wanna do one of these. I feel like glitzy and glamorous when I listen to that song, <laughs> but also like a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Grant, hit me baby one more time. Sounds familiar. I'm not gonna overthink it though and stress myself out. I'm just gonna kind of chill out today. You've taken a lot of liberties in this game. I know. You didn't even guess one time. Yep. Now you're just deciding not to think mm -hmm. and, and get it wrong. I'm setting boundaries to protect myself from the brutal world that we live in. Because honestly, I think it's all gonna end very soon. And I'm not gonna spend my last days stressing out about the bullshit. What are you gonna spend your last days doing? Fucking golfing, reading poetry, and hanging out with my new friend, Dan Marino. I just find it very hard to believe, but. He's welcomed me into his life. Despite his major celebrity and tons of fans worldwide, he needed a buddy. <laughs> I was there right when he needed him. Lucky you. Now, we're best pals. Hey, good luck with your friend Dan. Wait till he sees this. Let's go Dolphins. See what I'm saying? All you do is associate him with his playing career. He's so much more than that. Okay, whatever. I just think he might think that it's cool. He finger paints with watercolors. Do you know how fucking hard that is? No, I actually, that seems impossible. Yeah, he's amazing. Three, two, one. Love Scars, Trippy Red. LSD, ASAP Rocky. It is Love Scars by Trippy Red. I've taken an insurmountable lead. <laughs> I got some scars. Yeah, I know you do. From a shark attack <laughs> in 2005. I'm leaving it at that. Let's hear, let's hear, let's hear the alleyway. Let's hear love I was scars. attacked by Mark Cuban. Play Love Scars, Grant. I'm going to mute him. Took me for everything I had. Play it! <laughs> including my intellectual property. Grant, which I the swear time. to God. Hey, 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 hey. Love Fox.
team, yeah. We're going into the last one, okay? No more stories, no more Mark Cuban shark attacks, no more Dan Marino. Stop. The no Dan more Marino. new tree in Topeka, Kansas. <laughs> the Dan Marino thing's not a bit. I don't care what's a bit and what's not. He's the only person who's loved me for who I am. <laughs> you might be right. All right. <laughs> so you do believe me. Let's, let's give you this last one, Grant. Good pick. <laughs> you don't know what it is. I hope it's this one. I'll shit my pants if it is. Does it have a funny name? <laughs> right, oh, I hope it's this one too. too. I think it might be. I think this might be an inside joke, but mm -hmm. that's okay. An inside joke and an inside job. Just like 9-11. 9-11 yeah. was an inside joke. <laughs> It's funny to use zoomers, sorry, yeah, isn't it? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Three, two, one. Wet my whistle. Wet my whistle. It is wet my whistle by Midnight Star. <laughs> wet my whistle. Oh, wait till you guys hear this one. I mean, oh. this is this is an inside joke. This is a song we've been listening to. You guys probably don't know it, but you're in for an experience. Tell your parents you heard Wet My Whistle on Hive Mind. Text your parents that you heard Wet My Whistle by Midnight Star on Hive Mind and send us screenshots of their responses. Yes. Wet my whistle. I just had to pop my pistol. Bow, bow, bow. That's a free idea for any rapper who wants to interpolate that song. Well played game, man. Thank you. Five to three is our final score. Reverse audio is a game that we are not so good at, but I <laughs> hope you guys had fun. And let us know what audio games you want us to do. Ooh. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, subscribe to our second channel, Hive Mind Unlimited. Hive Mind Unlimited. And Dignity, do you want to leave these wonderful people some advice to leave your live their lives by? Life is not about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. All right, this has been IMITV. We love you. We'll see you in the next one. Let's go. And the winner is Riley Savage. Oh, Will Ferrell. I went to his quinceanera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna talk about my new friend, Dan Marino, the, this whole episode. We know. I need a one dab. <laughs> I destroyed my conjoined twin in the womb. It's something that's haunted me my whole life. The loss of someone you never know or knew is indescribable. You what? Know, mm. <laughs> Dan Marino does not know this man.